studying computer science and this project is part of the third year group project. The idea is that you get together in groups and you have to develop a game. The project is really designed to almost bring you out of the comfort zone. This is really an exercise of what will happen in industry. You're going to be put in a group. It's all about effective communication. It's all about working out what you're strong at and what you can contribute. futuristic rhythm-based racing game, so you have to hit the beats in time with the music and race at the same time. There's a few driving games out there, which beat, you can hit beats with them, but there's no steering involved. That beat dictates entirely what you do, but we're giving the option for the racer to not only hit the beats, but also control the car. So we had some people focusing on modelling but helping with the code, and some people focusing on AI, and kind of everyone had to do bits and bobs, but some people were more mathematical and some people were more artistic, so it kind of worked out. Uh, we wrote around 30,000 lines of code, but generally, if you can write less to do the same thing, it's better. It's a sort of 17th century naval warfare game. Um, the idea is you've got sort of third person views of ships, and um, the idea is basically signaling the enemy. We've never done anything like this before, this is the biggest project we've ever undertaken. So, I mean, in our game, you can play up to 32 players at once. Um, so, you've got to sort of spend a lot of time making sure the network is robust and isn't in a sort of crash with slight disturbance. Well, it's assessed with three routes. There's the um, presentations, which were this morning. There's the um, games demos, where we, the uh, marks will actually come along and play your game and have a go at it, see how fun it is to play, see how well it works. And then there's also a group report, which you hand in earlier. A lot of it is to do with learning about project management, team building, working to deadlines, um, effective communication and so on. And there's a, there's a range of modules that do that. It's not just this games project. The course as a whole, um, you just learn so many different disciplines. And by the end of it, I know that I'm going to be very qualified in a lot of different fields. And I know that it's not a one-dimensional course. You learn a lot of different things. One of the main skills is we're taught how to learn. So in my internship, I was doing various different um, software, I was using C Sharp for example, which I've never done before, but thanks to the course I could pick it up quick enough and get on with my work. One of the good things about this course is that there is um, a fair amount of group work within it, um, which, which means that we're all getting quite good skills there. The only prerequisite for doing this kind of course is a, a background in maths. Um, I think it's, it's helpful if you've done a bit of programming before, but it's sort of taught from scratch. I'm Andrew Buchanan, I'm a freelance documentary filmmaker. One of the reasons I was asked to be a mentor is because my experience is in getting teams to work together. There are different groups every year uh, with, with different strengths, uh, with different games. And it's really interesting to see how the groups work and also how the games are so different one from the other. Andrew was awesome. Um, he basically said that if you don't talk you're not going to get anywhere. So make sure that you have meetings, make sure that even stuff that seems like it would be obvious, make sure that you talk about it. I believe that almost every employer is going to be looking for people who can work as part of a team. So graduates from here in Bristol will have the advantage of being able to show future employers that they have worked and delivered as part of a team on a very focused task. Throughout the course we, we do a lot of different stuff. It's going to look at um, some more art related things like modelling uh, through to graphics and including the sort of technical side of those and the mathematical side of what's involved in actually drawing something in a realistic way through to sort of high performance technologies with parallelization techniques and OpenCL and OpenP and, and having the broad range of skills that means that even though I still don't quite know what I want to do when I finish I'm sort of confident that I'll be able to find something because I've experienced all these different things. The industry seem to value us as graduates and undergraduates quite a lot actually. I think it's a thing of past experience they've had um, graduates come to them and work for them and they've been very, very pleased with them. Pleased with their work ethic, pleased with the skills they've learned and they want more graduates like that. 
HP Labs and NVIDIA came in and looked at our project, looked at the other projects, we've used some of, their uh, some of NVIDIA's tools, so they were quite interested in talking to us about that. We're very lucky, we're very lucky to be in a position that, um, that industry people come in and, and see what we're doing here. As it comes to crunch time, you'll find you're spending longer and longer hours in labs, you know, working on it, but making a game is so rewarding, you get to see something so visual and people enjoying playing it, it's, it's really worth all those hours we put in. I have never worked on something so hard in my life. When you've been working on something for so long, you want it, you want it to be perfect and you're going to work as hard as you possibly can to get there. Probably the best thing about computer science is the fact you're always solving problems and there's always a, a reward at the end. Whether or not it's making your code run a bit faster or making something look nicer, there is always something. It's not just a problem to be solved for the sake of it. It's very much whatever you put into it, you'll get out of it. It's very much, um, very much your project. Um, something you feel proud about doing once you've finished, hopefully. <laughs>